Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Friday, October 15, and uh, starting with the stock 50 here. So, um, as you know from yesterday, we started to look at these markets being uh, completed in terms of their corrections, um, but I can't confirm that just yet because we're in wave fours. We know that the market's been working in lots of threes. Um, so it's possible that this move down through here still got more to come with with uh, wave four over here. If I move wave Y over here and move W here and move X here and then look at this here as an as an A wave and a B wave and and a C wave up to here somewhere. So and then come down from there, that's why I've got that X there. So we'll just need to be a little bit mindful um, of that situation. We're working through the same situation in the uh, US as well. So it will just be a matter of time before we can uh, confirm what we're looking at here if we've got that wave X. But I can see from this market that if we look at this as one and two and one and two here, we'd still have um, there's still a bit more to go up through here. So we'll see some sort of um, pattern here. What I'm kind of looking for in a nutshell, uh, with the, sort of using the American markets as a, uh, as a bit of a template, but this move from here to here, once it's finished, it will be five waves, right? So if it's five waves, then it's going to have, it could either be a top in place or it could be just the next leg. So we could look at so once we get to the end of this five waves here then we just got to wait and just monitor this particular pullback here if it's in three waves then we can go long again above that we know that we're in a big bullish market at that point but uh, if we go be below three waves to the downside then we'll be going down further at that point now I've made that a bit big and I've made it sort of you know way below the level here but it'll be much tighter than that you can see how tight this trend is so um, yeah just nailing that top down there will be what we need to be doing on the DAX and the S&P 500 and so on this is just the hourly chart here uh, so yeah looking at this here we've got one and two and one and two here uh, the S&P 500 counts a little bit more um, uh, probably a good thing to keep an eye on that but uh, there's a couple more tops to be had here before this trend is finished so we've got time here I'm not going to pull this apart today um, but expect a pullback and then a bit more to the upside at that point so if you're long uh, you, all you need to do is hold through that correction or or navigate uh, it across the midpoint here the 50 the 4150 so on the FTSE uh, here, this is how we looked at it yesterday. Um, <coughs> even in this case here, we can still sit, even if this wave one needs to sit on top there, I'm not quite sure about that. I'll have to just double check that. But um, I can see from this low here, we've got one and two here. So even if this is wave three up here, we'd still need wave four and wave five to come into play, right? So it's still got further to go up. So that's what we'll be looking at. This is the... Um, one hour chart here so wave two here and then wave one abc for wave two here and in blue and in that blue we're going up from wave two here to wave three so we can look at this as wave one and two here so you can see there's no wave four here just yet so that's what we're looking for next and then wave five to the upside so we'll need at least five waves to finish it off so that you know I mean I think we're pretty bullish on this one but um, we just need to be careful in this little bit here when we finish these five waves here then we need to be careful at that at, at this point at this junction so just raise stops above the um, don't bring your stop too close to the top otherwise um, take some money off the table and uh, handle it that way or keep the stop out of the way whichever one you want to do this is at 7272 so we know that we've got group one above and group two below that's just the natural swing range for this wave four to play out here okay so don't get too emotional in this in this here if the three here the seven two three zero here becomes the tested support with the classic trading levels pattern then you know the market's going to be leaving the 7200 and pushing up higher at that point so that's what you know about that 
and then down below here if the lower end of group two here becomes the resistance then we'll be coming down from that point that's why i've got this just below the group two just to give this some space here but taking some money off the table here and then buying back under the level here might be uh, a way to improve your um your your uh, station in life <laughs> as they say um yeah and let's just take a closer look at the dax so with the dax here on the daily chart uh uh so yeah we're you know looking to call wave four low in here but i don't have any evidence of that so far because first of all it hasn't pulled back to this space down here where we're 38.2 percent retracement not that it has to so if this wave four is going to be in play here then i think that we're one degree smaller than what i think that we are and i've sort of been mentioning this all week um it means i need to do some work on it um yeah i mean there's a good case also for i mean for this this wave four here just to come straight across here because we can look at this as an a wave here then an a and a b and a c for the b wave here and then this and all of this is the c wave here it's a bit of a long shot uh but you'd have to be one and two here and then the third wave is one two three four so there's overlap there down for five so the third wave fourth wave and fifth wave so it's a it's a very wild swinging c wave if you wanted to look at it as an expanded flat which i think we might have to and put this put this way four over here but i'm going to continue to do work on that if it doesn't if this if this doesn't you know pull back down through here then i'll seriously look at that but um if this just continues straight to the upside there then yeah we'll look at we'll, we'll i'll do work but if it pulls back down so this move up through here we don't have five waves here yet do we we, we have three waves so it looking strong as a third wave so that's good that's a very positive thing and that's why we're looking at it in a positive light um but all the same uh we need to understand things so we could say once this five waves here here is finished then there's if it's going to be bullish there's going to be an abc pattern here and then it's going to go up further so at that point there when it takes that out we'll know that it's going to be a bigger bullish pattern but otherwise it could just fail from here and move on down through to here and then this wave x here if i can just put that just grab that and dull that out a little bit um and that would be the play for here and that would just be an abc pattern to the upside at that point so we need to just leave that there for a bit so yeah we need to dis we, you know the market needs to tell us which, what it's going to be doing at that point in time and that's that point will be the important point so um yeah so this all should sort of let's go anyway let's go take a closer look at this on the four hour and so on so from the low here wave four we could look at it as wave one and two and then moving up this is the 61.8 percent mark here there's also this trend line through the top here that makes puts a little bit caps that as a bit of a ceiling there but also too we got the 500 here the 15,000 it's not important but the 500 is important so the market can um well there's three good reasons why the market should have a correction there so we'll just allow it to to do that there you know um but yeah just letting you know that this can be wave x uh here and then we can just come down for wave y here for that okay so we're not out of the woods yet if that is wave four there then we'll take that top out here of course and we'll end up somewhere uh up here and we'll need to look at five waves the wave three normally occurs across the top here so we can put that there so we'll need to get five waves up five smaller waves in blue going up through that way so let's just go in and get us make a start on that so from this wave four here looking at this as wave one and abc for two here and then building the case for further upside at that point so we're looking for for this wave three here <clears throat> up at this space here somewhere and that's how we'll be looking at that so we do have we're pretty much long in all of these i have moved the stop up here just but still out of the way from here um yeah so just as i pointed out then the the 61.8 percent retracement level is just above here there's a trend line coming through here we're at the number five which is the 500 which is the second strong we're definitely going to have some sort of correction here 
right? Um, in the off, in the off off hours, and then um, uh, when yeah, when it's ready, it'll it'll push up. So the trend is still in good shape. So we'll we'll stay with it um, at that point. I don't know if I've done any work on the tick chart. Probably, I think I did do a bit of work. So okay, let's just go in and have a look at this. So we've got our four, one, and two here. So two here, we've got one and two here, and then from two, we're going all the way up to three here, and then there'll be four, and then there'll be five going further up. So we're, there we are. And then from here, from this wave two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, four, one in two in green there. And then that makes the other green three up here. So from two to three up there. So it is really extending out like a third wave. So then we've got one and two here. And then we've got the three, four and five up here to make that three there. And then we've got one and two and three and four here. And then we're in this little fifth wave here where we've got one, two, three, four, five. So just opening that up a little bit further. It's a little bit tricky to follow this one because it's in a very powerful point of the wave structure at that point. There should be one, one, two, three, four, five. They should have thought there might be one more little move here first. It looks looking a bit sad, but one more move here, then, then an A and a B and a C wave here for this, and then further up at that point. So yeah, let's just, um, Can it take us that far? Maybe it's a little bit elongated, but be nice. Probably to the 600 would be probably a better choice. And then we'll come back and check on that again there, and then we'll be up into. Hopefully that can hold. Hopefully all that's going to sit in there in that space. So as you can see, we've still got further to go to the upside here with this. But expect a correction at the 15, at the, at the 15,500. So just to recap this a little bit, I think, um, not such a bad idea on the four hour chart, I could do the trick. So we know that in this area here we're going to be stalling here for a little while in the off hour um, in the Asian session basically and there is a ch chance of failure at this point as wave X and down to wave Y here making the whole correction bigger so we need to be careful about that it doesn't look like a lazy C wave you know but this wave X here that was we wish we could just make a smaller W X Y here I mean that was quite powerful too you know so seeing this powerful we also need to be mindful you know of um, of what's what's occurring at this point here as well so there's a lot of work to do but I think in the next um, next few sessions we'll get some sort of top there uh, also with the S&P so I'll leave it at that alrighty thanks for tuning in cheers